Hi, humans on the internet. Neuro Rebel here, and this week we're going to talk about eye contact. the deal with eye contact oh i sound like jerry springer that is not what i was going for there okay let's get serious for a minute there is a rumor that autistic people cannot or never give eye contact and that may be true for some autistic people but that is not always the case so let's dive in and talk about this so yes there are some autistic people who cannot do not will not and never give eye contact but this is not how it is for every autistic person. A lot of us, myself included, can give situational eye contact depending on the person that they are interacting with. For example, I can and do give eye contact to certain people who I feel very, very comfortable with, but Eye contact feels like a very intimate experience for me. It is a bit like making out with someone or it just makes me feel really naked if we are staring into each other's eyes. So really, even though I can give eye contact with some people, I don't give eye contact with all people. And there are actually people I literally cannot give eye contact to. Uh, for example, there was just this one woman that I had to buy a storage shed from once for work and I couldn't even look at her face because something about her eyes just, I couldn't do it. I can't even explain it to you. Uh, so yeah, sometimes I can give eye contact with certain people and that's my experience and I've heard a lot of you say the same. So let me know in the comments below if you can give situational eye contact with certain people and you are autistic because I'd love to test this theory because I've heard a few of you say this already. And so is there anybody else who can do that? Um, let me know. And then the other thing about eye contact is that a lot of autistic people know how to fake it. Fake it till you make it, right? Fake making eye contact. Hmm, how does that happen? How do you fake eye contact? Well, my mother used to tell me when I was a very small little autistic person, look at my nose, look at my nose, look at my nose, look at my nose. She would tell me that all the time. And just to spite her, I would look at her eyebrows or her mouth because I don't like being told what to do. Uh, but really, actually, I look at people's mouths more than I look at their eyes because I also have audio processing difficulties, differences, and I am not a good lip reader, but sometimes reading people's lips, looking at people's mouths gives me a little bit of a clue as to what someone may actually be saying in the event that I have completely misheard the words coming out of their mouths. Uh, but a lot of autistic people can do this, you know, they will be looking at your nose or your eyebrow or something behind you or your ear or your mouth, and they are not actually looking at you. They are just looking in your general direction and giving you fake eye contact. Let me know if you are an autistic person and you do fake eye contact in the comments below because I don't think I'm the only one who does this either. All of this brings me to the other reason we shouldn't be pushing so hard for eye contact or that eye contact may be something that autistic people are not giving in social interactions and during communications. And that is a lot of us, we are visual processors. And at least for me personally, sometimes looking down is how I compose my thoughts or how I think. Uh, and so I'm processing. And so I can be thinking and looking away and trying to process something. Or I can be looking at you and 
looking like I'm paying attention while I'm not actually paying attention because I'm too busy trying to make contact with you. Uh, If I have to explain something that is not easy for me to explain or requires a lot of recollection, it's not as noticeable here when I do these computer things. Uh, But you probably notice I like kind of look off to the side. I look up. I do it a lot. I'm always like looking at all of these visual things in my visual thinking brain and I can't do that and stare at a face a lot of the times or something that is distracting. I just need to kind of find a little place off in space, gather my thoughts, and I know I'm back. I'm back. So I don't need to look at you to hear you. In fact, if I am hearing because I am drawing mental pictures in my head, sometimes that can be very counterproductive because then I'm not able to think and process because I'm too busy looking at you instead of building the mental picture I need to understand what's being said. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today and listening to this video talking about eye contact. Let me know if you relate to any of these experiences or if any of this is true for you as well as an autistic person. And of course, if you found this content helpful or useful, because that is always my number one goal is to make educational, useful content that brings value to your day. Please don't forget to subscribe and share in case someone else might also find this content useful. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.